hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another visa 3 video today we are installing the visa 3 mod in cod mw3 so this is the game pass version not the steam or uh, any other version uh, also this game does have a visa 3 frame generation but that's only in the multiplayer section there is no visa 3 frame generation in the campaign section like if i go to the setting and the graphics then quality uh, you can see here in the upscaling section it has only was a 2.1 upscaler and no frame generation although it does have the nvidia dlss frame generation but i have not activated the mod right now so that's why you cannot see any kind of frame generation and the setting preset i'm using is ultra right now uh, you can see all the options here uh, it's some things uh, some items are on high some items on medium i don't know but i'm using the ultra preset so anyway without uh, any kind of uh, fsr mod installed uh, you can see my fps is right now around uh, 50 to 60 uh, i'm playing in the main uh, prologue mission of the game where you rescue prison prisoner 6 to 7 so yeah let's uh, start the modding without any delay all right now after quitting uh, we will be needing this zip to install the mod so we're going to extract it to the desktop and inside it you will find the dlss enabler version 301 beta 8 this is the latest version which is compatible with this uh, mw3 uh, frame generation so in order to install the mod to the correct folder we need to first go to the installation directory of this game where you have installed it from the microsoft uh, uh, what do you say game pass or the xbox app uh, edition so for me it is uh, right uh, here in this mk1 like i installed the mk1 one time and after that uh, all the games are getting installed in this folder so you can see here the call of duty folder after opening the call of duty we're gonna go inside content then sp23 and in here we will install this uh, dlss enabler so what we're gonna do is run the dlss enabler first then click on accept then next next and we're going to copy the folders location like the sp23 click on the address bar the whole path will be selected we're going to right click copy come to this launcher select the whole path delete it then paste it the path we just copied from here then we click next now in here if you are on amd or intel gpu uh, you will need to select uh, this tick mark enable support for amd and intel gpu and also select this winm dll version uh, 1660 and rtx select dll and next and for any other card like uh, older than 1660 like gtx 1050 or uh, anything other uh, you can just select winm dll and uh, the intel and uh, amd check, check mark so yeah after that uh, you will need to also click on the enable reg edit uh, enable or disable then after click next then click on install let the installer finish then go back to the same folder where we just copied the um, dlss enabler click on d and you will find a disable nvidia signature override so double click on it click on yes now what you need to do uh, you will need to run the game uh, from the xbox store or your uh, what do you say, start menu shortcut so i have already pinned it here you can also start it from the uh, xbox game app you can just click on the open the xbox game app wait for a second and you can start it from here also uh, so do not try this mod on the multiplayer or you might get banned use this mod only in the campaign section because the multiplayer section already have the fsr 3 frame generation so no point just taking another risk for something which you already have so yeah let's just jump into the game and then i will show you some things to talk about i've been also thinking about uh, making a new playlist called uh, let's play where i play some popular old and new games such as uh, mw3 uh, ac mirage maybe some upcoming star wars wukong when it releases and you know some popular games uh, with uh, playthrough and some interesting missions with voiceover or maybe no voiceover uh, you guys will decide that so yeah if you like uh, that idea you can comment down below you can also comment if you don't like the idea you can just tell me to stop it <laughs> so yeah let's get back to the video again
now i have windows 10 slash 11 uh, pro serial key at a very cheap rate only 250 rupees indian so if you are interested let me know in the comment section or come to discord the stock is limited so hurry all right so we are back in the game and uh, fps is still around the same the 50 60 mark so if i go to the setting and uh, graphics now after that quality you can see that dlss frame generation has now come online so i'm going to activate it click on apply it will take a little bit now we go back to the game and there we go now you can see the fps uh, it's over 100 so from 50 and 60 to 100 dlss was already activated so i was getting a little bit boost already uh, but the frame gain was disabled so if you don't have like the dlss or any kind of upscaler your uh, frame generation will be even much higher so yeah now the frame generation is activated uh, this is the mod ends here but i'm going to play the game for maybe a uh, one to two minute so you can feel free to stay or leave that's totally up to you uh, if you enjoy this video if this video helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, you can comment down below if you're facing any kind of issue and uh, don't forget to join the discord for more upcoming videos and everything and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers Alpha moving to sub level X4. Contact. Clear. Alpha moving on sub level. Let's get our guy. Ready, breach. Breach you up. Alpha's on target, stand by. Flare. Step into the light. Сколько времени прошло, Ваня? All stations PID on 627. Cop, opening Для меня это большая честь, командир Макаров. 